to DJI Osmo Action 3. DJI's Osmo Action 2, or as they called it, the Action 2. And of course, the DJI Osmo Action 1. If you have been following my channel since the Action 1 came out, you know I was pretty harsh on it because they were claiming that it was a big upgrade over the GoPro 7, and it turned out it was more like the GoPro 5 or 6. And then the Action 2 came out, and I love this camera, especially the magnetic functions in it. I did a video showcasing how this truly just is not an all-around action camera, and I thought DJI should have just called it something different and continued making it as whatever that is. But from what I've seen so far, the Action 3 is the best of both worlds. What the hell, man? And there it is, the Action 3. What else comes in the box besides a box? That's like the new thing. Boxes come inside boxes and a lot of stuff just fell everywhere. That's nice. Unlike the original Action, it looks like the battery is now its own standalone thing. Where with the Action 1, the battery... Come out, battery. Ha. Was actually part of the housing of the camera. Good job, DJI. And now I have... 235 USB-C, well this time it's USB-C to USB-C wires. Just like the Action 2, there's a sticky disc that you can stick down and like the Action 2, it is magnets. It also comes with a housing similar to the Action 1 with a rubber O-ring for something. Two rubber cock rings came in the box for really tiny people. In the Action 1, you actually had to have the camera in the housing to mount it to anything. This housing is actually just so that you can mount it vertically. So you can do all your TikToks, Instagrams, and other vertical videos that are everywhere nowadays. Obviously you can take this off, and this is something DJI has done, which has made an actual screw that is very functional compared to GoPro. But I'm not gonna dive too deep into GoPro versus the Osmo Action 3 on this video so make sure you're subscribed and of course I'll be putting together a video comparing the Action 3 and the GoPro 11 because this is what this is truly competing with although everyone thought this was competing with the GoPro 10 the GoPro 10 was hands down an action camera and this was just a cool unique camera so as far as physical size the Action 3 is a little bit bigger than the Action 1 but not by much if you're using the Action 2 Oh, you can feel the magnets. They don't want to, like, go next to each other. <laughs> and compared to the Action 2, they're also similar in size if you have both pieces together. This is where the Action 2 really beats out all the other action cameras when it comes to size. Like the first Action, you can unscrew the lens cover, so if you break it, it's really easy to just put on a new one. I might have to actually read the instructions to see where these micro cock rings come in because uh, there's none inside there, so I'm not quite sure. I just wanna turn this on and see if it's usable right outside of the box or if you gotta hook it up to an app to update the firmware like so many other action cameras do. Now, maybe DJI has learned that a lot of us just wanna be able to open this up and point and go, and so far it looks promising because now I'm gonna go ahead and select the modes. And I can hopefully do that here on the front touch screen because this screen in the front is actually touch screen this time. Swipe to unlock screen. Yes. English. Ah. Just like the first action one, you can use it a couple of times before you have to actually register it with your app and do a big sync thing. Action cameras didn't used to come this way. You used to be able to just open them up and go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get this to connect. And it's as easy as turning on your camera app and it makes you use the DJI Nemo app. So now I have to download that. Once it connects to the QR code, it gives you a download the DJI Mimo app, agree to the terms of service, and then you've got to click OK on a bunch of other things. And then we are going to tap the top left corner to connect the device. Click accept, and hopefully this works. Agree to their terms of service. You got to log into your account, and then finally you can activate. So if you don't have an account, you got to make one. And at that point, it gives you an activate button. It lets you have the opportunity to buy Care Refresh, and then it asks you to do a questionnaire. Great. Why do you want to own photography video devices other than a mobile phone, daily life, travel memories, sports activities, and other? When choosing a photography videography device, which of the following factors do you care about the most? Choose all that apply, eye-catching high-end appearance and design? Sure. Comprehensive functions and affordability? Sure. 
Stabilize functionally, definitely. Brand reputation, uh, if it's a good product, I don't care. Strong photography video performance, of course. Small size, durability, powerful features, easy to use, long battery life, and other. How did you first hear about the Osmo Action 3? Users share social media content. Where did you purchase your Osmo Action 3? I bought it straight from the DJI website. How do you plan to use your Osmo Action? Daily activities, stream sports, outdoor activities, record nature, yes. And what types of extreme sports would you use the Osmo Action? Surfing, rock climbing, downhill mountain biking, snowboarding, skiing, skateboarding and other. Which type of outdoor activities do you use the Osmo Action 3? Walking? I guess I'll use it walking. Motorcycling for sure. Running? <laughs> no. What photography, videography devices do you own or have you owned? Choose all that apply. Drone? Plenty of them. Action camera, of course. You hear that? It was beeping to turn off the power. So it's got auto turn off we just discovered, which is nice. You can probably go in and change the amount of time. Question nine. Which of the following best describes your videography skill level? What is your gender? Male, female, I'd rather not say. I'm actually sort of glad they don't have like 800 different genders and I have a cock so I will go with male. What is your age? You guys guess in the comments below what you think my age is. What is your total annual income? You guys don't get to see this one. Do you have any other questions or comment related to the Osmo Action 3? No, let me turn it on. Are you willing to provide DJI with your contact information for some follow-up events? Sure. Hey, finished. Activation success, get started in the does a tutorial on the app on what the buttons do. Show to record button, quick switch button, you swipe through to go through the tutorial, screen gestures, enjoy live view in DJI Mimo. So you can hook it up to DJI Mimo. So if you set the camera way over there, you can watch what it's doing from way over there. Manage files, advanced skills with tutorials, DJI Mimo for video tutorials about how to use devices and capture screens. Update firmware regularly. Next. Are we done? Can we use it? We're gonna turn it back on with the side button. And now I and now I have to update the firmware also. So there is quite a bit more to do on this than the GoPro 11, although the GoPro 11 does make you do some updates also. I'm gonna get this updated and then we're gonna take this outside and start messing around with this and compare it to the two and the one. Holy crap, it feels, I don't know if it is, but it feels lighter than the one. It actually feels lighter than the two. That can't be right. And before we can do anything else and go outside, we need to open this little slot on the side and add a memory card. Obviously, I'm gonna link the memory cards I use. Where the hell is it? So not in that slot. Is it in with the battery like the GoPros? It is. So the memory card now is no longer in that little slot and has moved over to where the battery door is, just like the GoPros do. Gotta be honest, I preferred it when it was in the little slot on the side. First one was right there. Second one is right there with no cover, which is part of what makes it not such a great action camera. I do gotta say that I do like the touch screen and the menu system. This one's pretty intuitive and seems to have a whole lot of options and it's pretty easy to use. On the action one, there was a huge delay on the front screen. I even put a video up about it right there. I am curious if it's a, very, very minimal delay. The delay is so minimal that it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all in this version compared to what it was in this version. I'm gonna go put this on the charger and we will get this thing going and get everything set up and I will meet you outside. 